Hello and welcome everyone, Tyrrell here, and it's time I got even a little bit better with GoEwee. I'm decent. I used to be able to three-star people like nobody's business back a couple months ago, but I sort of fell out of use for this, and now I'm going to be getting back to it, but the best way to practice, really the only way to practice, is to attack only fully maxed out bases. So let's see how that works out for me. So for this first guy right here, I've already screwed up. This guy right here isn't fully maxed out. He's got a couple level 10, level 8 walls up top, and I actually didn't notice that when I started attacking him. I didn't notice till the end of the raid that he wasn't technically 100% maxed out. But I think since I don't ever even touch that side, we can overlook it for now. But I'm going in. I'm going in from the side. Unfortunately, the Archer Queen is not being targeted by what I want to target her. But then again, this is the first raid out of many, so it's going to improve over time. Also, I <laughs> should have frozen that Inferno Tower a long time ago. Bye, troops. I was so focused on all my other stuff that I didn't freeze the Inferno Tower, and that's the main thing. That's the sort of Achilles heel for me, is freezing Inferno Towers. I'm a little bit slow on it. I've always been a little bit slow on it, and I need to improve on that. My Archer Queen is not going for the Town Hall yet, but now she is. But my King is just off doing his own little thing, getting himself killed, and I have to go ahead and use his ability and they're not even halfway into the base. Now, this looks kind of bad. It looks like it might end up a one star because my king's almost dead. My queen's gonna get like nothing else. She's gonna die. She's hitting that expo. So she's dead. My king's dead. So it looks like this isn't a great attack. I might have to pick off some stuff outside. But look at the power of one witch, one golem, and one wizard. That other witch on the other side doesn't count because she's just hitting the wall. But they're actually gonna be able to take the 50%. And now I'm just sort of going to let it run through. I am probably going to deploy my wizards because I just want to see how much percentage I can get. I want to get as much percentage as possible, even if at this point there's no real point to it. But I go ahead, I deploy one wizard down there to try and take stuff out. But the archer tower has other plans. And I got a wizard up there. He's going ham on that spell factory up there. And he's actually going to stay just out of range of that archer tower and take out another collector to get a little bit more percentage. And all that's left is my witch after this. Goodbye wizard. And all that's left is my witch who's attacking a wall just four times it and watch how she dies. Okay, she's gonna die right here. Does anyone know why this is still running? Cause I do not. I do not see anything on the map. Maybe I'm missing something that you can spot. But I don't see anything on the map that should have kept that going. It should have ended right then and there, but it didn't. But this neck guy is fully maxed out. I'm gonna be attacking straight from the bottom of his southern teaser style base. Gonna try and check for any clan castle troops. Maybe some giant bombs going with that. I'm a little too quick on the middle golem because the golem just ends up going off to the side. It's no longer a middle golem. I just send in some wall breakers to check for traps before I spam my wall breakers. I remember to do that. I didn't do that last time. Like, not this video. The last video that I used Go I didn't remember to, sp to not spam my wall breakers. But and I, now I can spam my wall breakers. Now I try to freeze. And I'm less than a tile off. I was trying to freeze both Inferno Towers, which is possible with the way they're set up, but I was just half a tile off. Playing on an iPhone is kinda hard to hit exactly there. But there's a reason I froze that over there and not the Inferno on the right. There's a reason I didn't freeze both Infernos. I wanted the Archer Queen to stay up and I didn't want to risk freezing her, because she's actually gonna pull a bunch of my troops inside. A bunch of them do get killed by that multi-target Inferno, but they end up taking it out and my Queen's gonna go the right direction in a second. Also ignore the fact that there was a ra wasted rage spell, a wasted wage spell, no, a wasted rage spell, because that was just fat fingers. That was just me fat fingering it there right after my first freeze. But my second rage did the job. I'm already at two stars, and I'm just going to send that wall breaker in there, because why not? My queen's going to go over there. I don't have enough to break through the walls. It takes three to break through the walls, but maybe I can help out my queen just a little bit. I do have two wizards left, going to deploy them over there. And I got one wizard left. I'm going to try and put him up towards the top. I want to get a little more percentage, but just give me a second. There he goes. See if he can get any more percentage. My queen's going to go down, but she's going to take some elixir with her. I'm going to end this right here with 67%. I still have a lightning spell left. You can count that as 60... Oh, 68%. I didn't think he would take that out. You can count that as a 69%. Please do. But this next guy, I spent like thir the full 30 seconds 
I spent it just looking for his clan castle. Because I'm like, where is his clan castle? Why is it not in the center? I didn't realize till right as my 30 second to look at the base was almost over that his clan castle was outside. So I dropped an archer to check if anything was in it. Nothing was in it. And unfortunately, those Tesla did not target my golem. And they targeted my wizards because they pop up. Then they wait a second to target. I was treating them as if they popped up and then targeted. I also failed to break the T junction. I thought I had dropped three wall breakers. Apparently, I did not drop three wall breakers. And I had to drop some more. But I'm in. But my king is long gone. My king is. Watch this. Yep, there he goes. Bye, king. But my queen's going the right direction, and she's going with the golem. Now, here's the most painful part of the raid coming right up. Ooh, giant bomb. No more wizards. I got, a, I got like a witch and a wizard left there. Maybe they'll be okay. Maybe they'll be okay. They're going to go in. And all the rest of my witches and wizards explode. I did not expect there to be two giant bombs in there. Nor did I expect all my troops to rush in while it was arming and blow up. But I did get the town hall with my queen. I only have 34% though. My queen's attacking a wall. So my queen is in effect dead before she even drops. Because attacking a wall means no more queen. Bye queen. But my king's also gone because he's just attacking a wall and he's used his ability and I have no more rage spells, I have no jump spells. So he's dead, no chance of that. And unfortunately, my wizard is not able to take out that mortar. I'm at 44%, 45%. I am able to get two buildings with one wizard up there and two buildings with one wizard down on the bottom. So I barely pull off a 50% on this base. This is the it can be a tough base for some people, as you notice. It was a little bit of a tough base for me because everything's really lopsided. I was not expecting all of the Tesla to be on that side and all of the Wizard Towers except that one that you can still see standing. But it was a little bit weird, but I got through it. Now, this is the last raid for this episode. Now, I could have either attacked the bottom and gone up through the bottom or attacked the top. Now, the top has a bunch of walls, which makes it really tough for me to get through the walls. To get to the town hall but the bottom has a ton of buildings which can get me stuck so I'd have to waste all my rage spells just to get through the bottom so I decided to attack from the top I went in from the top and as I was attacking I noticed I don't know if it's intentional it probably isn't but there's a wall missing right there above his clan castle there's an empty space so my troops can just walk right in I don't have to worry about my wall breakers and that queen is frozen along with two defenses that's not a bad freeze spell it's not the best but it certainly was probably the best that I could get out of my free spell right then and there. And now my king has completely ignored the town hall. He's not going back. My, my queen has to get it. My king just went off on his own way down at the bottom and just sort of died down there. But my queen's able to take the 50%. Why did I end it with this? I got two spells left. I took down this guy for two stars with only three spells, and he's got a fully maxed out base, his heroes were awake. I got a two star with three spells. I used two rage spells and one freeze spell to take down a fully maxed out base. I think that's pretty good. I I'm, I'm happy with that. When people two star me with only three spells, I'm impressed. So I'm happy that I was able to do it. And I'm gonna end it there. Two trophies, but whatever. I'm just practicing. So I'm hoping I get better, and I'm actually working on my free spell technique. So, thank you for watching. That was a little bit rough. It was tough attacking fully maxed out bases. I did not show you all of my attacks. Because there were some attacks where it did not go so well. And you will never see them. They are buried and hidden forever. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Tyrael, out.